So how do you do the nervous bark? In this video, we're gonna break it down and show you how right after this. everybody, Michael Batiste from the Elk Calling Academy, where we give you the blueprint for success in the elk woods. Welcome back to Wapiti Wednesday Q&A. Tonight's question comes from our YouTube channel and was actually asked by Mike M and Jesse Thomas, and they want to learn how to nervous bark. What do you say in it? What's the meaning of it? And is it really a deal breaker when you hear this sound? So first off, the nervous bark is basically an elk that is saying, I'm not comfortable with the situation. There's something here that I don't feel comfortable with. You need to show yourself to me. You need to prove to me that you're an elk. It's not necessarily that the setup is done or <clears throat> that elk's gonna, gonna leave. It's just they're not comfortable. Learning how to do this and be able to bark back to them, you're kind of sending the same message back to them. Well, I don't think you're really an elk, so maybe you need to come a little closer to me or you need to present yourself to me. It's a very effective call and I've, I've used it extensively over the years out in the field and I think it is a very important call to learn how to do it and how to use it right. So. To nervous bark, it's basically, it's, it's just a quick force of air, just, oh, oh. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. What I'm doing is I'm placing my tongue on the reed and kind of putting enough pressure on it so I kind of get a mid note. And then with my diaphragm, I'm forcing a quick burst of air and oh, oh. So through a tube, and you can adjust the amount of pressure that you put on the reed to kind of change that note a little bit make it a little lower make it a little bit higher because elk do bark at different levels they're all not the same so uh, the other thing is I never bark first um, you know, I, I wait for that elk to bark at me and then I go ahead and send that same message back. And you may have to get into it where you get into a bark fest uh, with an elk. I remember a few years ago, um, was hunting here in Idaho and we had been working a bull for quite a bit in the morning and we had him in close, just really couldn't get any shots on him. The brush was really, really thick. And so we worked around the knob to try to reposition. Well, when we got on the backside of the knob, we got into a couple of cows and one of them just sat there and barked and for about 15, 20 minutes, we had a bark fest back and forth. And you know, she would bark, I would bark, she would double bark, I would bark and mew or bark and bugle and just back and forth to let her know we really are elk, get her nice and comfortable. The other thing that you'll find is if you're hunting high pressured areas where elk are getting pressured every day and getting called to every day, you may find that as soon as you bugle or you try to locate, they hit you back with a bark bugle. They're basically saying, um, I've been here before. I don't believe you're an elk. You need to show yourself to me or you need to prove that you're an elk. So, so the ability to do that back is really, really beneficial. So, so remember, flex up on the reed, kind of a middle note, good force of air, and then you can roll right into other sounds all right mike and jesse i hope that answers your question and since we chose your guys's question this week we're going to send each of you a reed quiver from Bendable Products. So please get a hold of us, give us your address so we can get these out to you guys. We've had some great questions rolling in lately. Keep it up, guys. If you haven't submitted a question yet or you have another question you want answered, feel free to put them in the comments section down below. Um, 
like I said, there's some great, great questions coming up. Uh, we're loving the questions that are coming in. And if we get a really big chunk, we may just do a live event to where we get on with you guys and just go rapid fire and answer these questions. All right, guys, as always, thank you for tuning in. We appreciate you supporting Elk Calling Academy and the Wapiti Wednesday Q&A. As always, keep calling, keep practicing, but most importantly, have fun while doing it. We'll see you guys next week on the next Wapiti Wednesday Q&A brought to you by Elk Calling Academy.